Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and God, Amen. In today's Gospel, Christ is rebuking the Pharisees and the scribes. He says, But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for you neither go in yourselves, nor do you allow others, nor do you allow those who are entering to go in. The scribes and the Pharisees were learned men. They knew the laws. They knew the Old Testament. They knew what was written. But they became hypocrites because they started to ignore the law. St. Hilary of Poitiers says, Woe is a voice of sorrowing. For this reason, he says, that they close the kingdom of heaven because they hide in the law the consolation of his truth. They lost sight of the advent expected by the prophets. Through deceptive teachings, they do not allow others to go to heaven either. They do not adorn the way of eternity. How does this apply to us? We are Christians. We know who Christ is. We were baptized and we were raised in the church and we take communion every single liturgy. When we go out into the world, we are different people. We do not live as Christians. We join the world and we go with the flow. It's a scary thought if we read this gospel and we think that Christ can see this to us. Woe to you because we are hypocrites and we are living a different life and we are not showing the world who Christians are. If others who do not know Christ and they see us as Christians doing the things of the world, then we are shutting up the kingdom of heaven for them. We are not allowing ourselves to go in and we are not allowing others to also go in. So it's a scary thought to think that Christ can say this to us. But of course he's not going to say this to us because he loves us. He gives us many chances. And it's a good time to think about this gospel during the end of the year so that we can start fresh. Obviously, everyone has their New Year's resolutions and they wait till the beginning of the year to start something new. But every day is a new day. So we should begin in this new day and try to change ourselves. In the Catholic epistle it says, and so we have the prophetic word confirmed which you do well to to heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. So we have the word of Christ within us. When we read it, we meditate on it, he dwells within us. And then we become this light, this light to this dark world. So we should reflect upon our actions and come back to Christ and remember that The world outside is living in darkness and they need this light. May God give us this light and make us to be an example to all people. And glory be to God. We exalt you.